everyone, it's Christy here, and I'm here today with a special edition of my Project Life Process video. This one is for Paper Issues and their Take 5 Challenge. I love this challenge over at Paper Issues. So it's 15, a list of 15 items, and you have to just use five of them. And it's so easy when you're doing a Project Life layout to come up uh, with those five products or five items. Uh, in this uh, layout, I used a paper clip. I used two or more pattern papers, I used the color red, and an arrow, and there's one more thing I can't, oh, hearts. I mean, how easy is that? Hearts, arrows, come on, the color red. So that was five of the items, uh, and there's a list of 15. So definitely doable. And if you enter into the challenge, you are entered to win a gift card to Paper Issues. It's so simple. So, be sure to enter your uh, layouts. I'll, I'll put the Facebook group link in the description box below. Alright, so now, after all that blabbering, uh, let's get started in talking about what I'm doing here. So, for this week, January 16th to the 22nd, I am using mostly the Hazelwood Collection from One Canoe 2, which is an American Crafts uh, collection and it's gorgeous. It has lots of beautiful colors. So what I did was I just trimmed out some pattern paper. I did not have the paper pad for this uh, collection. I just had a few um, 12 by 12 papers that I just cut down. So on this side of the layout, that gorgeous floral of my title card and uh, then that uh, black and white kind of polka dotty pattern paper there off to the left is from the Hazelwood collection and I also use two Project Life cards uh, one from Studio Calico and one from Gossamer Blue to act as a journaling card and because the Studio Calico uh, cards had rounded corners at the time uh, that I subscribed to them I just trimmed off the corners and uh, adhered it down to that black and white pattern paper and it looks great it ties the colors in perfectly so uh, I really like uh, doing that lately, uh, tying in one collection with cards that I have already in my stash. In addition to the Hazelwood collection, uh, the pattern papers, I'm also using the 6x12 sticker sheet and the 6x12 uh, chipboard stickers. That's all I have from this collection uh, along with the gold thickers, which I used there on my title card. So I don't have the ephemera, I don't have the paper pad, I just have those uh, four items from the collection, and I made it work. So, uh, yeah, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty much loving this collection. It's really fun and a little bit different. Uh, I've also brought in two additional items. Uh, actually, sorry, three additional items. I brought in these tiny word stickers from Amy Tan. Uh, the peachy color matches the Hazelwood collection pretty well. There's a pattern paper that you're going to see on the right hand side that has more of that peachy color. And I brought in those Paintbrush Studio uh, Chipboard Alpha. Uh, there you can see them on my title card. I use them to spell out the word January. And then I also brought in those black uh, stickers, those fray stickers there that I put on two of the photos. Uh, one of Nora in the bathtub and then up at the top there, uh, Nora on the trampoline with the dodgeball dolls. Dodgeball balls. Wow, that's hard to say. Dodgeball balls. <laughs> anyway, so I just did a really simple title card. I'm drill like I'm really limited in my scrappy time, especially in the afternoon, uh, which is when I did this. Uh, the girls both nap at the same time, thank goodness. But you just never know when one of them is going to wake up. So restricting myself to uh, one collection and a few additional items and then just keeping my title card really simple is kind of going to be my formula for this year. So I just used the Pinkbrush Alpha to spell out the word January. I took a sticker label from the sticker sheet and I matted it on a white piece of cardstock, trimmed that out, added the gold numbers and a chipboard asterisk and called it done. I did play around with adding something extra here. I thought maybe I would add uh, this pencil, but it just doesn't doesn't work very well. 
All right. And some other things that I did during my blabbering was I added the sticker camera uh, up to the top photo there just to bring in some more blue. I thought that blue kind of matched the picture of Adeline with the light box pretty well. It brought in some blue. And then there's going to be some more blue on the right hand side as well. I also use the chipboard stickers to write all good with uh, some gold accent uh, kind of underlines there on that bottom left hand photo. Uh, the sticker initially said all good things which would have been perfect as well but I just didn't want to write use the word things because it would have covered up um, some of Adeline uh, so I didn't really want to do that. And then I did my journaling. I don't love the journaling that I did uh, in this layout. I think I was just a little bit too rushed. I wish I would have done it a little bit differently, but it's done. I may go back and fix it, but probably won't. But yeah. All right, so that was the left-hand side really quick. Now we're on to the right-hand side. Uh, again, I'm bringing in my Instax photo for the week. There's a cute little picture of Adeline there dressed up as a Ninja Turtle. And uh, I love that pattern paper that's in behind. That's also from the Hazelwood collection. And then this bottom left-hand uh, card, uh, what I did was I trimmed out a 4x6 from the pattern paper, but I left the branding strip at the bottom. I really liked how uh, I brought in the pink and the pale mint color. So I just left the branding strip to kind of just to bring some more interest to that card. Uh, and I chose that paper specifically because it was pale enough that I could do some journaling on it. Uh, I also brought in a 3x4 uh, Project Life card from Gossamer Blue. And I just covered up the sentiment that was on that card. Uh, I, and I chose that one just for its color. Again, kind of tying in that uh, deep greeny, bluey color uh, to the left hand side of the layout. I layered up some movie tickets. My mom and I went to a movie this weekend and uh, I wanted to incorporate that. I really wanted to take a selfie but totally forgot to take one of us. We don't have a lot of photos of the two of us together so next time for sure I'm going to try and get a photo of us. And I'm using both the alphas that I used on the title card. Just spell out the word movie date. I used two of the chipboard stickers and a paper clip. So that was one of my items from the Take 5 challenge. And I wanted to bring that in just to bring in some more red. There's a little bit of red or that deep pink color on that uh, uh, pattern paper with the Instax photo. So I kind of wanted to bring that in as well. And then on that photo of Nora with her stickers on her face, uh, I used two of the stickers. One says love and one was just like a label. Layered those up and then added some chipboard hearts. So another take five challenge item. Super easy to incorporate those. Now I'm back to these snap clear stickers that have the black sentiments and I chose one uh, geotag that says right now and I put it on that instax it's not going to stay there and then this one that says you make me blush and I just layered that up on a sticker uh, flag and then some scrap pieces of paper. So I'm moving that geotag now and I'm just going to put it there with the movie, ta with the movie ticket uh, card bringing in some more of those tiny word stickers on that photo of Nora. We tried to make a snowman this weekend, but the snow is just way too icy. She's been really into uh, the movie Frozen, and so we were going to build a snowman. And I had this kind of Olaf snowman building kit that I got um, when I went to like a book fair as a teacher we went go to book fairs and stuff so I got this snowman building kit for free and I found it in the garage and I'm like you know what this is perfect it was even Olaf it, she was so excited uh, but we couldn't build a snowman so instead we just put it in the snow and she was happy so that's good um I had that three by four journaling card there that says I like boring things and I just added some of the hexagon stickers uh, from the sticker sheet just to add some more interest to that journaling card. And now I have some more of those hexagons left over, so I'm going to bring them over to this photo of Nora uh, in the bath. And I had added um, a tiny word sticker on there as well. 
And I'm just looking now. I don't have a lot of this collection, so I'm just looking and making sure that I'm bringing stuff in. I add a chipboard heart, and I thought, you know what, this card's feeling kind of busy, so maybe I want to take off that flag and tiny word sticker, but the glue is on there. I mean, it's not coming off, so I just, I just left it and uh, don't love it but whatever and because I have an arrow on the right hand side of the layout I thought that I should probably try and bring an arrow in onto the right I like to do that just to create some balance and that is it so thanks so much for watching please participate in the challenges over at the paper issues friends and fans page uh, it's a great group and you get all the insider information as to when things are coming into the store and uh, yeah, we have a we have a online crop coming up and a scrap and chat coming up as well. So come come hang out with us. Thanks so much for watching.